Attack. I have to get these pills to her right now. closed on its own. I really hope I don't have to go back there. <gasps> don't scream, kid. Listen carefully, and everything will be okay. I can help you. I'm not here to steal anything from you. I'm looking for my daughter, Liz. She disappeared three weeks ago. She was seen getting into a car with your father. I just want to know what's happened to her, kid. Tell me the truth, and I'll help you. Do you know anything? I, I found this. 
No. I'm sorry. No. No. <laughs> Mike. What's going on there? I'm sorry. Your father worked secretly to save your sister. Very emotional. But Dad hasn't told us how he found the cure. He knew how to find the cure, but his company didn't want to help him. So, Dad kidnapped people with the same disease as Irene and experimented on them. He did terrible things to them. And when they were so destroyed that they were of no use to him anymore, he killed them and got rid of their bodies. Do you know what playing an instrument and killing have in common? Doing it well takes a lot of practice. Paul? Is... Is it true? Honey, you didn't know, but you suspected it. All those days Paul came here after work, all those nights you spent alone with the children, you couldn't help thinking about it, could you? Like a song that gets stuck in your head. You can't get rid of it. You chose to ignore it. Wake up, honey. Wake up. Poor thing. You fell asleep during the movie. But turns out the remote for opening the panic room was hidden in the car keys. And there we were looking everywhere for it. Dennis! Dennis Francis Burton! It took me a few days to remember my name in the hospital. I was imprisoned for weeks in that laboratory. The things you did to me. <laughs> Do you remember the night I almost escaped? I'd lost so much weight, I slipped out of my shackles. With what little strength I had, I ran to the elevator and took it up. That drained all my energy. Where... where am I? I need to get to the elevator before he comes back. The elevator has to be around here. I wasn't able to make it to the front door of the house. I was so drugged up I couldn't find my bearings. Thank you. 
Dennis. Dennis, where are you? No, no. No, no. If I try to get away, he'll catch me. I have to hide. I hid in a closet. All I could see through the door was that skull watching me from the top of the wall. I was convinced it was death staring me in the face. It said to me, Where are you? I'm not going to let you get away. And he found me in the end. wasn't enough. I was destroyed. I just wanted to die. But you couldn't even do that right. Dennis, remember, we need the cure. The boss needs the cure. It was him who told me all about you and gave me the chance to thank you for your care. But first, I need the password for the laboratory. I'll get him talking. No. You mean well. But you're a savage with no self-restraint. If you went too far, we'd end up with no source of information. I've got a much better idea. He needs his family, but we don't. No, 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 please! We're not playing games, sweetie. I'd say the lab password is an awfully cheap price to pay for her life. Isn't it? <laughs> I know it! Are you sure? You're not trying to trick me, right? The password is... Four... Eight... Nine... One... <laughs> Hilarious. Kid loves mommy. More than daddy does. Stay here and watch them. I'll see if what they say about the lab is true. Prepare the program. Come on, little girl. You're coming with me. You all make me sick. Ashley, come here. It was supposed to be an easy job. The sooner we finish, the better. You are a parent. 
You have to understand. Monster! <laughs> Grab the car keys and go through the garage door. It's the only way to escape. Take the tablet. That data is your sister's salvation. This is all the data from Dad's research. I can't let them take it. I have to hurry and get out of here! I'll be back to get you! Okay. Sweetheart, come out. It's mom. <laughs>
Which of the two siblings will speak louder? Dennis, this has gotten out of hand. We can't go around killing kids. Their father killed your daughter. This is our revenge! I won't turn into someone worse than him. We have to turn ourselves in. There's no other way out. I don't know if you can hear me or not. You never really believed in these things, and I stopped believing gradually as I grew up. I wish I had the faith I used to have. I need to believe that someone can be cleansed of the sins they committed in life. Paul, what we did was wrong. You wanted to save Irene. She was always your favorite. Everyone knew it. So much so that in saving her, you lost your ethics, your civility, your... your soul. You kidnapped and murdered innocent people, Paul. But I can't blame you because you did it to save her. It was my fault. You couldn't accept the prospect of Irene's death, but I could. When you told me Chrysalis wasn't going to finance your research, I saw her dead in a white hospital stretcher. So young, and it hurt me, Paul. More than you can imagine. Then you told me you had a plan, but couldn't tell me what it was. You offered me peace of mind in exchange for not getting involved. I shouldn't have accepted. I should have let her die, rather than see you turn into a murderer. Now it's too late. You're not with me anymore. Your daughter will grow up hating the father who saved her, and your son? I don't know which of them we hurt more. If only you'd at least regretted it, Paul. Winter, where you used to be again. 